welcome to the official YouTube channel for Santa J Claus. Be sure to subscribe for new content and comment below to introduce yourself. May the magic of Christmas brighten your days all year long. Well, well, hello there, my friends. Hello there, and best wishes to each of you. And welcome, welcome to the art live streaming. Today we're going to be doing a little drawing, a little inking, a little painting. And hopefully by the end of the live stream, we will have a piece of artwork to show for it. And I encourage all of you while we're able to visit today, maybe get a piece of paper out and start doodling away. Maybe you can paint along as well. I'm encouraging all of you to try to be creative, my friends, and learning new things. A wonderful, wonderful thing indeed. Bethany has joined in, our wonderful moderator. Hello there, my friends. Everett has joined in as well. Welcome, my friends, to all of those here on the Tiki Talkie. If you want to join in at the YouTube, you can see the cameras that are pointed at the artwork. In just a few little moments, we're going to start to begin to paint. And I hope that you'll join in. If you do come over, my friend, let me know that you're from the Tiki Talkie, that I can give you a shout out as well. Hello there, my friends. Hello there and welcome. Just saying hi to you. Well, I'm saying hello to you as well, my friends. This warms my soul, my friend, from my heart to yours. I'm grateful that you are here and wish you all good things. Hello there, my friends. <laughs> wonderful. I'm so very happy that you're here, my friend. Welcome. I hope that everyone had a wonderful Christmas. It was chaotic to say the least, but we made it through, my friends, and now we begin to focus on the coming season as well. It takes all year long to prepare for Christmas. All year long, indeed. It begins with some of the collaborations, the designing, all of the wonderful things in creating toys. But then it will start to pick up speed, my friends, a wonderful thing. And there's always time to be able to be creative and using our mind and, and, and increasing our skills. And this is something that I... I have done for many, many years, but I'm so very happy now to be able to have you join in and follow along as well. Perhaps maybe something that we do today will inspire you to create some art of your own as well. And art comes in many forms, my friends. We can be artistic and creative in many different ways. It might be art with a paintbrush. It might be art with a, a musical instrument. It might be art in the, in the kitchen creating some wonderful, amazing thing. It all depends on what your heart wants and what brings you joy. Hello there, Brian has joined in. Jessica has joined in. Hello there, Daniel has joined in. I can't, just came over from TikTok. You make a terrific, wonderful, there is a, my goodness, I'm wishing you all good things, my friends. All good things and best wishes to you. Hello there and welcome, my friends. Welcome. You have Rudolph. Well, Rudolph is a wonderful reindeer, my friend. A wonderful help indeed. I see that in the movies and in the stories, Rudolph's story is a little interesting to say the least, but a wonderful thing. I thought you only... My goodness, it takes all year long to prepare for Christmas, and now the focus is on the art. And today we're going to be drawing and inking a reindeer, and painting a reindeer as well. And I'm excited to get started. Hello there, my friends. I'm so very happy to join in. Now I'm going to change the camera so that you can see what we're doing today. I've gone through and sketched just a little in pencil that you can follow along. And I'm going to try my very best, my friends. We're going to go through and, and, and do a little bit of inking. Now, the ink brush that I enjoy using, well, it is the Zebra Brush Pen. And it's always wonderful. They come from Japan. I will, I will say that I just received a... I just received another box of them, <laughs> so I'm ready to go, my friends, ready to go indeed. This is what a wonderful thing when you have elves is that you can say, I'm running out, and all of a sudden, poof, there's a box ready to go. <laughs> well, we're going to begin, and I'm going to start on one of my very favorite parts of the reindeer, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about reindeer as well. 
But the very top part of the reindeer, what do we have here? Well, we have the antlers. And I want to, let me find something to share with you, my friends. The reindeer antlers, a very important part of the reindeer. Important part indeed. Well, you can see that we're going to start to draw in the reindeer antlers, but I wanted to take a moment, my friends, and show you some reindeer antlers. Now, a lot of people, we use the antlers for many different things. We can create tools out of them, decorations out of them, all sorts of wonderful things. And I will tell you a common misconception on the reindeer antlers. A lot of people think that we are so mean to take away their antlers. And I have to tell you, my friends, the antlers for the reindeer, well, every year they grow a new set. It's almost like getting a haircut. They knock off the, the antlers, will find them on the ground after they've used them all up. And then all of a sudden, they immediately start growing a new pair, a new set of antlers. And oftentimes, the, the year that is to come, is even a little bit larger than the previous year. So this was our, one of our young reindeer, my friends. And it's very interesting. It would have been, the head would have been pointed this way here. The large little section would be towards the back. And this would be pointed towards the front. And you always notice sometimes the antlers will have a, a section that, that goes into the front. Sometimes it will have a little hook on it. This is their digging antler, my friends. They will put this into the ground and dig and push all of the snow all out of the way. A wonderful thing. And as the reindeer, will, as they grow, their antlers will get bigger and bigger. Oftentimes, we'll see them, you might see them in photos where their antlers are quite fuzzy. Well, they call it the velvet. And then once the antlers are fully grown, they will knock off the velvet. They will rub it along trees and branches and rocks. And then on the inside is the very hard antler. And it's a wonderful, useful thing. And I will say for, for all of our wonderful flying reindeer, the, the, if you can see, it's very aerodynamic. And if they shift just a little bit, my friends, well, we can change a little bit of the flow of the air. This is one of the ways that they are using their antlers to to be able to fly, which is a wonderful thing. A little bit of a, a rudder, as you might think of, like the tail of, a, of an aeroplane. Well, my friends, let us begin. I think we need to begin. And this is an opportunity for you to ask any questions that you might have as well. Hello there, my friends, and welcome. Best wishes to each of you for joining in. Daniel, she's a sweetheart, wonderful. Hello there, Santa, how are you doing today? Jessica, I'm doing quite wonderful. I had no idea antlers were so complex, a wonderful thing. And I will tell you another thing that's very interesting is that antlers in, in reindeer, well, the females and the males both, all reindeer have antlers, a very important part of their job, part of their survival too for the wild reindeer. Well, here we are. We're going to start to begin to ink our wonderful a wonderful reindeer. And I hope that everyone is having a wonderful day, that you're staying out of trouble, being kind where you have opportunities to be kind. So you see this large part of the antler here, well, this is. And I will say, too, on the antlers, my friends, if I can show you. Well, all of the antlers here, well, this is only one set. This would be on one side, and you would have another on the other side, the pair of them. And so you will see that the larger, oftentimes, the larger antler will be facing the back. I'll have little little moments here where a 
Reindeer are so very interesting. I'm often asked what my very favorite animal is, and I will almost always say, well, I think it's the reindeer. They might change from time to time, but reindeer are quite magical. Now this reindeer here has a very small forward-facing antler. And then the very front one, you will have the shovel. The shovel typically will be right in the very front. And this is the one that they will use for their digging. Well, there we have our antlers, my friends. Aren't they beautiful? Antlers certainly are a wonderful, wonderful thing. There are even some videos that you can see. Sometimes they will be caught on video, a reindeer dancing around in the snow, and all of a sudden they will hop and leap and then jump down back on the ground in the weight of the antler well it was the perfect time for them to get a little hair cut and it'll pop right off my friends a wonderful thing and the antlers my friends they grow so very quickly they can grow they can grow many many centimeters every single day when they are in the growing season hello there my friends and welcome best wishes to all of you i'm in the process of working on some art on the youtube -y. i hope that you'll join in these are Santa Bob Ross. <laughs> Santa Bob Ross. A wonderful thing. Well, here I'm going to go through. And we're going to, you'll notice here on the, on the ear, right? Well, the pencil sketch drawing that I did, I just put in a straight line, but I'm not going to do that when I am I'm not going to do that when I'm inking it because we want we want it to be quite clear that we have a little there's fur all throughout here. Do you see this my friends? Do you see this? Wonderful. I'm also going to go through here. Let's. We're going to give our reindeer a little harness. A very useful, useful thing. There's our little harness. Wonderful.
And this will all look even more and more the way we're wanting it once we put in the the colors. There will be lots and lots of lots of things to paint on this one and lots of color. And just little bits here and there. You'll notice that I can get on the lines, my friends, very fine little detail lines as this is a a brand new brush. Always wonderful. We're going to darken this one up here on the end. As their noses can be quite darker. Just another strap as well. So here we're going to go through here, put in some some more fur. There we are. The other thing that's so wonderful about reindeer is they are perfectly suited for the snow. They are a perfect animal for the snow. Everything about them is designed to do well in very, very cold temperatures. It's quite wonderful to see. I've been going through a lot of depression after watching the sky. He's helped me out in many ways. Well, Daniel, I'm so very happy that you're here. I think it can be quite hard, this thing about depression. I hear a lot of people will experience it right after Christmas as well. Some people will experience it during the Christmas season. For me, I always find that after all of the deliver deliveries have taken place, well, it can be a little bit gloomy as well for me. But I find ways and things that truly will bring me joy. I try my very, very best. Now I'm going to go through here as finely as I can and create just a little, little stitching on the on the straps we want to make it appear to be there maybe a few little lines here and there
there we are. Now there are some trees in the background that we will paint, but I might not ink them. I might keep them with just the, the paint itself. Timmy, hello there, my friend, and welcome. What reindeer is this one? This one, my friend, is Comet, a wonderful reindeer. This is so wholesome. My friend, I'm happy that you're here. You're the best. Well, I'm so very happy that you say this. Wonderful. All of the wonderful comments, my friends. Welcome, welcome to all of you joining in. We have just completed inking our reindeer. You see the reindeer? Now, in just a moment, my friends, we're going to start to paint it. And this is always quite fun indeed. A very fun thing to do. Now I'm going to go through before we begin to paint. I'm going to go through, I had sketched some of the trees in the background, but I think that I'm going to take the pencil lines from the trees off as we will add it with just paint and not the, not the lines of the ink. And then we will begin to paint our wonderful reindeer comet. Wonderful. Now, colors, my friends. What will our colors be? Well, our colors oftentimes, our colors oftentimes will be browns. And we will have grays as well. So many wonderful colors to create. I hope Comet didn't eat any chocolate. Comet is one of our better reindeer when it comes to not eating chocolate. Some of the reindeer, will they manage to try to get themselves into trouble a little bit more often than they should? <laughs> Now I'm going to go through here, my friends, and I'm just adding in just a little, a little color. Just a little color. This is our very first layer. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And I'm going to go through and we're going to take a little bit of the color away from this section right in here. We're going to lighten that one up. And blow dryer. How many candy cane blow dryers have you seen, my friends? <laughs> A wonderful thing. Now going through, we're going to now start to create just a little brown. Always wonderful. I'm going to put in just a little Payne's gray in it as well. Just a little hint of blue. And this, my friends, is where we will begin to add in some of our layers. We'll see our reindeer appear before our very eyes.
and blow dryer again. We're adding just a little bit at a time, my friends. The elves don't like the camera. They certainly do not. My goodness, I have tried so very many times. But I will say that I have noticed quite a few videos, my friends, where I have spotted an elf or two hiding in the background. So when you're watching the videos, sometimes go through the video and see if you can look into the background. You might spot an elf as well. Just layer after layer, my friends is the name of the game. <laughs> we'll start to increase here and there more and more color. and blow dryer. I'm going to go through here we're adding in even more color here. and blow dryer. I'm going to go through and I'm adding in just a little, a little lighter brown that we're going to start to add into this as well. Just here and there. And 
I'm going to start to bring in a little bit more yellow and a little bit of red and a little touch of blue. And here we're going to start to paint in our, our wonderful reindeer antlers. Beautiful, beautiful antlers. I remember, my friends, it does not need to be perfect. I'm trying my best to stay within the lines that I have drawn in. But if it goes outside the lines, I'm not going to be too concerned about it, as this is a hand-painted piece from an imperfect person. I will try my very best. Well, here we are so far, my friends, painting our reindeer. There's still quite a bit to go, but he's coming along. And blow dryer. And blow dryer. Good morning, good morning. Nobody's perfect. Wonderful, I completely agree with you. A detail on the antlers is everything. I agree, certainly. And we're going to darken it up even more, my friends. Here and there. Just in a few little spots. The reindeer are always playing with those antlers and they certainly can get into a little trouble as well. <laughs> I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. And blow dryer. I love the ho, ho, ho. Well, my friend, everyone was always saying this. I'm not quite sure where it comes from. I see in the movies that they're always saying, ho, ho, ho. 
I think it's just my laugh, but I'm not quite sure that I agree this is what it sounds like. Now we're going to go through here with some darker colors and just put in maybe a little bit of texture into the bone of the antler. Just a little bit. I think that would be quite nice. And blow dryer. I'm going to go through here very lightly and we're going to put in just a little little touch more yellow within the antler. To me it seems that it needs just a little bit more. There we are. Reindeer oftentimes have that little spot around their eyes that are just a slight hint lighter. Just a slight hint. We'll put in just a little brown in here too to highlight the eye just a little we'll put some more brown around the ear too I'm going to darken this up just a little bit more just in a few spots My friends that are joining in on the Tiki Talkie, we are in the process of painting a reindeer. Here's where we are so far. If you want to join in, we're on the YouTube. -y. Welcome to all that is here. Do you have holidays when Christmas is over? Well, do I I have a short little holiday here and there. It is always wonderful to travel. I'm in the process of working on some traveling arrangements currently. I think my next little stop will be in Hawaii, <laughs> and I think that I might make a little trip to Cancun as well. <laughs> I'm going to go through here, let's see. We'll see how we do on this one. I want this to be quite light.
And here I'm not going through with a lot of a lot of details. This is more about giving the impression, my friends, that there are trees in the background. But we're not wanting to draw a lot of attention to them. We will go through and create little spots here and there. Giving the impression of the background. Does it make sense what we're doing? Do you see how it's starting to take shape here and there? The artist Scott Sava, he is a friend of mine in Santa's. Mr. Scott is certainly an inspiration to very many people. And I being certainly numbered among them. Now I'm adding in just a little, slight little bit here of Mr. Scott Sava's favorite color, Payne's Gray. Just a little extra. I'm going to put in just a little Little branching here and there, just hiding off into the distance, off into the background. And just a little here and there. What do you think, my friends? Are we getting there? Well, there's our wonderful reindeer. Always wonderful. I'm going to lighten up the blue just a little. I'm going to put a little extra blue in here. I'm going to go through and put just a little bit of extra, just a hint that there is more to be seen off into the distance. Might be very hard to see on the camera, but I promise you it is there.
I'm going to darken this up just a little right in here, just creating a sort of edge of the bottom of the trees and the this is all in my imagination right here, my friends. So we do our very best we can. Create a little snow bank edge there. And certainly we have some There we are. Wonderful. And blow dryer. Now I'm going to go through and we're going to create a little bit of our shadow. You remember the shadows? We're going to go with a a blue and a purple, but I'm going to lean a little bit more on the side of the blue because we have all of this wonderful snow. We will try our very best on this one. Let's see how we do. A little bit of shadow here and there. We'll do a little bit of shadow also, just on the edge of the, the harness. Just along in here as well. There we have it. Now I'm going to go through here now. And I'm going to go through here and lighten some things up just a little. This will this will lighten up quite a bit on Get in there. Let us see here. What a wonderful painting! Wonderful. I'm happy that you are enjoying it. Here we are on our painting, my friends. You can follow along on the YouTube if you're wanting to.
I'm just going to darken this up just a little around here. Well, I went a little too wide on that one, but it's okay. Remember, we're not worrying about mistakes. Bringing out just the emphasis, the high, bringing kind of the reindeer, making sure with the outline that the reindeer is the most important part of the thing on the paper. I'm going to go through here as well, just create just a little more shadow. Wonderful. Now I'm going to go through here. We're going to add in just a, a few little highlights here and there. This reindeer has been getting into some of the snow. Well, I think we're about done, my friends. What do you think? Have we done it?
Looks amazing, Santa. Well, they're very kind of you, my friends. Very kind of you indeed. Santa, what's your favorite type of tea, or do you prefer coffee or hot chocolate? Well, my friends, a nice cup of hot cocoa is always probably my preference. Always a delightful thing. Now, my hot cocoa's change with every day. Sometimes I'm in the mood for some whipped cream on in the hot cocoa, sometimes some marshmallows. Sometimes there might even be both. <laughs> Sometimes it's a, a darker, very strong chocolate. Sometimes it's a, it's a more of a, a wonderful chocolate with cream. Sometimes there's a little bit of peppermint as well. There are all sorts of wonderful ways to be able to do it. I'm also going to put in just a little touch. In his eye. There we are. What do you think, my friends? There is our reindeer. Wonderful indeed. Let's sign it. And then, as always, my friends, I will put this on here. As always, all of the paintings I give away. Your opportunity to to be picked to receive one well it will come in the form of making sure that you go on I think they're on the Instagram is where we put them where you can sign up and the link in bio on the TikTok as well that you can sign up for a for a painting a drawing well there it is my friends what do you think I would love to hear your comments and I also wanted to share with you I've been trying something new so this paint here is a gouache painting a, a watercolor painting but I've also been trying some gouache paintings and I've done two of them my very first ones and I wanted to share them with you this one is one that I did yesterday evening and I thought it was quite quite nice isn't it delightful a darker evening night with a little bit of the northern lights up above with some snowy trees as well the thing that I love about this one well it's a postcard I can send it away and do a nice gift for someone I think would be quite delightful the other one that I was working on too my friends is this wonderful delightful little gnome I think <laughs> I think it's a delightful little thing and again something that I was trying for the very first time a paint called gouache paint which was wonderful so in the last my friends in the last 24 hours I have painted three paintings a wonderful gnome a painting of the northern lights in a postcard and now today our wonderful wonderful reindeer this is this is how it is this is practice my friends the opportunity to practice to all of those on the Tiki Talkie, this is one of the paintings that I did yesterday, and also I painted the little the little gnome as well. <laughs> and today's painting of the live streamy is our reindeer friend. Wonderful. Well, may I take just a moment to thank you for being here. I want to remind all of you, my friends, to make sure that you're subscribing. <laughs> Hit the little jingle bell button as well. <laughs> it's all very important. And one of the most wonderful things that you can do when you complete a live stream, you will, if you would go to the YouTube and watch one of the longer videos all the way through, it is always very helpful. This is how all of the platforms of the social medias know to share the information and videos with other people. This is when people are watching them. This is a wonderful thing. And I love to create all of this, and I hope that there are others that are loving to watch it as well. I send you all of my best wishes. My friends, from my heart to yours, may the day be filled with goodness and kindness. May you find opportunities to share your heart and kindness with others. And may you also have an opportunity to, to be kind to yourself. Treat yourself, my friends, with time. 
Take a moment to think of the good that is around you. This is a wonderful gift that we have to be able to do this. And I try to take some time each and every day to think of all that I can to think of the goodness that is around me. And when I'm thinking of all of these things, I'm thinking of each of you as well. All of my social media friends, as they call them on the social medias, all of you around the world that are watching along and liking and commenting, and it brightens my day, certainly. May we all be kind to one another. May we find ways to spread kindness more into the world, as it so very much is needed. And may I remind each of you that I believe in you. I truly hope that you find the kind words from those that are in your life around you, that you hear kindness and affirmations and, and positivity. But if you are not, my friends, I want you to be sharing those words with yourself. A very important thing, that you are kind, that you are smart, that you are beautiful, that you deserve kindness and love and happiness within your life. And all of these things, my friends, may we say them until we believe them, I think is so very important. I will see you next week for another art live streaming. But I have some wonderful videos that are coming out in the next few days. One of them is all about, I think it's all going to be all about penguins. <laughs> I had the opportunity to visit some penguins and wanted to take the opportunity to teach each of you a little bit about penguins as well. My friends, be kind, be good, and stay